Hi all, welcome to another edition of Design Spark Axi the Expert. Today we are joined by Rockwell Automation and we're going to be talking about the Micro 800 PLC family. Welcome Pavel, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, welcome everyone, thank you Kalum. Uh, my name is Pavel Matejka and I am the European Product Manager uh, responsible for uh, Micro PLC and Distributed I.O. Um, based at Euro, uh, Euro, European headquarters of Rockwell Automation in uh, Brussels, Belgium. I have been working for Rockwell Automation for 24 years now. Excellent, that's quite well. Uh, so Pavel, PLCs, they're used widely within industry already. Uh, what are some of the, like, the latest trends that you're seeing with the usage of micro PLCs within industrial automation applications? Uh, actually, actually, there has been a lot going on in past uh, one or two years, and there are many new trends I can observe uh, when it comes to micro PLCs and micro PLC based um, control systems. Um, I would say one of the key trends is uh, that um, that uh, users have started using micro PLCs in much more demanding applications, much more complex applications, much more sophisticated applications than ever before. Um, historically, users used to use micro PLCs as a standalone one micro PLC with one HMI, a few frequency converters, and that's it. Uh, now I see users using um, multiple micro PLCs in a single system with multiple HMIs, and that brings also additional demands, additional requirements on micro PLCs. Um, they must be much faster than ever before with uh, faster microprocessors. They must have much more memory than ever before. Then they must also um, uh, be able to exchange data, communicate uh, much faster than ever before. And I see even the requirements uh, like cloud connectivity, which historically has been a task for much larger PLCs than micro PLCs. So, as you mentioned, the cloud connectivity, obviously one of the driving points of Industry 4.0 is cloud connectivity. Does the, does the Micro 800 product family offer any sort of cloud connectivity for things like remote data transfers, monitoring, storing historical values, and even, you know, some PLCs offer things like remote program uploads? Does, is that something that the Micro 800 family offers? Yes, yes. Uh, there is a very easy way how to uh, establish cloud connectivity for our Micro 800 uh, family of PLCs. Uh, there are many ways how to do it. Um, let me maybe mention the most popular way, and that's uh, via the MQTT prot protocol, mm -hmm. message queuing telemetry transport protocol, which is, uh, which is a very popular pop protocol in the industrial Internet of Things world uh, because it's uh, lightweight. Um, it's got uh, low bandwidth demands, and it works. Uh, I, I have seen many applications of Micro 800 um, uh, with cloud connectivity established this way. And for that, uh, we as Rockwell Automation uh, come with uh, support uh, for the users. So we offer user-defined function box, which are pre-built and available for free download. Um, uh, so users can just, um, just uh, input uh, their parameters according to their needs, and they can use uh, our tutorial video, uh, which we have available, which shows how to establish such a communication uh, literally within minutes. In all in all, it works and it's not a rocket science. You do not need, uh, you do not need a high end software engineer for that. Everybody can do it uh, using those pre-built user defined function blocks and our tutorial video. That sounds, that sounds really good. It sounds like the barrier to entry for that is quite low then, which is what you want really. If you're going to sort of push people to use it, it's like you want the low barrier of entry to allow people to easily integrate it, really. Mm -hmm. So why do you think that people should be picking your the Rockwell Automation sort of micro 800 controllers for their micro PLC applications in 2022, really? Like, why, why should we be doing that? Uh, from the high-level perspective, I would say, I would say uh, our micro 800 family of uh, controllers uh, meets all the requirements, all the common requirements coming from uh, all types of industries. Uh, there is uh, not, nothing missing and uh, we have um, installed our Micro 800 in thousands and thousands of various applications. Uh, so it's a proven uh, platform uh, which which works 
And in addition to that, um, we as Oracle Automation can can always offer something extra. Uh, let me mention let me mention um, uh, the global pre-sales and post-sales support provided by not only by Oracle Automation but but also by the dense network uh, of our partner business partners, distributors, and system integrators. Also, it's a it's a Oracle Automation product, so it's can be characterized by its high quality and yes it's it's our controller it's it has been um, researched designed developed and assembled by rockwell automation yeah so i mean obviously as a company rockwell automation been doing in the market for plcs for years now so you've got the experience behind you as well with that ticket so why would you not use it so I mean, what advantages or key points have you got over compared to other control platforms, for example? Like, what what sort of key offerings have you got there? Mm-hmm. You are right. It's a proven pl- platform. Uh, actually, actually, we introduced the first uh, Micro 800 model to the market back in 2011. So, and since that, we have been adding uh, additional models and features. Uh, Talking about talking about the key points, uh, there are many many things to talk about. But uh, at this point, let me mention at least um, ease of use. Uh, it's very easy to work with uh, Micro 800, starting from the initial design, putting together the whole system, designing it, um, uh, programming Micro PLC itself, uh, installing it, wiring it, and also also maintaining um, uh, the whole platform. So ease of use um, uh, is is one of the key points. Uh, I would also mention I would also mention uh, flexibility. Uh, the Micro 800 family contains many versions, many models available for the users, and um, that helps users to pick the the right model that perfectly fits their needs, uh, which is which is extremely important in uh, in this segment of applications. Hmm. So you say you can go for all the way from you offer a wide range of products from like really small, sort of presumably low footprint, low IO count, all the way up to like really like quite powerful models with I don't know what kind of connectivity connectivity do the higher power models feature. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's right. Uh, you can uh, you can um, uh, you can uh, f- use um, Micro 800 in in a wide range of applic- applications. Uh, briefly talking, I would say uh, you can go from small home applications like garage doors, lightning control, irrigation systems, through applications for machine builders, uh, producing typically. Uh, low-end uh, standalone machines uh, in uh, large volumes. Um, uh, that's uh, that's also where Micro PLC, uh, Micro 800 fits uh, very well. But you can go up to up to uh, large applications uh, for end users. It can be various water wastewater installations. It can be uh, it can be uh, geographically distributed systems. It can be uh, water distribution. It can be uh, pipe control in in oil and gas. And uh, and many others. Uh, talking about um, the communications, uh, there are which you asked about. Uh, there are many options. Uh, basically, Micro 800 supports all common uh, standards, um, uh, either by uh, by native communications or by uh, additional I/O modules. Hmm. That sounds really good. Uh, so, what sort of areas do you commonly see the Micro 800 being used in? Like, what products is it going to? What Generally, does it tend to be useful? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, from the uh, if you talk about uh, machine builders uh, and and uh, uh, that means OEMs, uh, original equipment manufacturers, mm-hmm. um, I would uh, I would certainly mention uh, food and beverage segment combined with packaging. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would certainly mention uh, life science. Um, as, uh, as as another key segment, uh, but uh, but there are there are many more uh, many more uh, where Micro 800 has been used uh, in large quantities. Also, I would like to mention that um, uh, this is uh, this is a global product. So we have uh, various applications uh, not only here in Europe, but also, but also all around the world um, in North America, Asia Pacific. Uh, so also global companies. Uh, producing machines uh, globally use Micro 800 uh, with a with a great success. Hmm. So the software, obviously, software is a main part of PLC, a PLC itself. What's the importance of the software when it comes to a building a Micro 800 based control system? 
Colin, this is a great point. Uh, many people tend to talk about hardware, about iron, uh, but it's uh, very important to have um, a very good uh, software uh, which allows users to program and configure not only micro PLC itself, but um, the whole, the complete control system. Uh, we have um, a great software uh, called uh, Connected Components Workbench, or CCW, which is the single programming and configuration software for uh, not only for Micro 800 uh, family, but also for the whole um, control system. It's got um, many benefits for the users. Um, uh, let me briefly mention at least some. It's uh, all based on IEC standards. So users uh, who are used to programming according to the IEC standards uh, find programming uh, in, um, in connected components uh, workbench uh, very easy, straightforward. Um, they can start pretty much immediately. Um, also, uh, another benefit is um, the software can be used to configure, as I said, not only micro PLCs, but also other devices. So you do not need a separate software for, uh, for your HMI screens for your drives parameters, for your servo drives. Uh, you do not need a dedicated software to configure your safety devices. You can do everything um, uh, using this single software package, Connected Components Workbench. I would like to also mention uh, one more thing, which is um, the fact that uh, the software is um, available in multiple languages. It's very easy to switch from English to French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese. Um, so users uh, who have customers um, in other regions can let them work with the software in their native language. You don't need, you don't have to reinstall the software. You just go to menu options, you select the new language, you restart the software, which takes a few seconds, and then you can start working in a completely different language. Uh, I would like to also mention that the standard edition, uh, which is uh, perfectly enough uh, for the users to, to do the complete design and programming from the initial point until the final troubleshooting is available for free download from our website. Okay. So you mentioned the fact that there's a free download. Does that mean that there's a paid offering or is it sort of everything under one roof that is free there? That's um, uh, the standard edition is for free and uh, users can do users can 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 do uh, everything they need uh, with that uh, we also have a, a professional uh, edition which allows uh, allows for uh, online editing uh, as an extra and um, it's available for a, for a small surcharge however the standard edition which is good enough for uh, to design and program the complete system is available for free download hmm. so that will that help drive adoption really you've got You've got free software available. Everyone loves free software, especially if it's great, and it means you can that, get up and running without an additional cost on top. That's absolutely correct, and it's also a kind of a low threshold for the first-time users. You don't have to invest too much. You just download the software, and you can try it. You can play with it. You can download uh, example code from our website to see how certain tasks can be performed, and you can reuse these pieces of example code, and um, then you can achieve a kind of jumpstart uh, when you are designing your first system. That's what everyone wants is great examples, because, I mean, you pick up a thing and it's got a great example with it, it suddenly becomes a lot more appealing. It's really easy to use, and that's, that's really mm -hmm. good if it's got good examples available. So what would you say is the sort of number one technology reason to pick a Micro 800 PLC to use in a product, for example? Mm-hmm. Uh, there are many technology reasons, but if you ask about just one, I would certainly mention scalability. Uh, you know, users in this area of applications are very sensitive when it comes to selecting the right solution. They do not want to purchase something too big. They are not willing to pay for the features they don't need. They, they want exactly the solution that exactly meets their requirement meets their requirements so they need to be able to select a system which perfectly fits to what they need as it is and i think this is one of the strengths of micro 800 because uh, first you select uh, the right controller from from the wide range of offering and then you can customize um, uh, your solution 
uh, using uh, both plugin modules and expansion IO modules. And this way you can, you can achieve um, your, um, uh, exactly your needs. Let me give you a brief example. For instance, you are a machine builder producing, uh, producing um, packaging machines and uh, then, uh, and then you have two or three versions which differ by a few inputs and outputs maybe you need two extra analog inputs thanks to the uh, micro 800, micro 800 flexibility and scalability you can use the same control platform for for all your machines and you just uh, add an extra small plugin module allowing you to connect those two extra analog inputs and you are good to go without uh, any major changes uh, in your, in the design of your machine. That sounds really flexible. That sounds great. So you mentioned the fact that you can have plugin modules and expansion I/O modules. What what of these modules are available? Like what kind of inputs do you offer? What kind of outputs? Do you have any special function modules? Uh, Yes, we do. Uh, we offer a broad offering of uh, plugin modules and expansion IO modules. Uh, first, let me mention that this concept of plugin modules is extremely beneficial for the users because uh, plugin modules are small. Uh, you snap them or connect them to the front side of your PLC in a very easy way. And also they are very cheap, so they cost uh, next to nothing. Mm. And this way, the users can customize uh, their solution with the benefits of not increasing the footprint of, uh, of your PLC. So if you need to squeeze it into the cabinet of your machine, uh, you do not change the footprint. And uh, you can use up to five of these plugin modules also to, uh, to customize your solution. You ask about the types. Um, I would say... If I simplify it a little bit, there are three types of plugin modules: uh, traditional digital inputs and output uh, input and output modules. Uh, so you can have digital input modules, digital output modules, and digital combo modules containing both. Mm -hmm. Then there are analog modules, uh, which allow you to send some uh, voltage or current analog signals. And then there are, let me say, specialty modules, uh, which include communications modules. For instance, if you need um, to connect an extra device, uh, connect talking via a serial communication, maybe a weight scale, you just plug in, uh, plug in a simple uh, serial port plugin module, and you can connect your remote uh, weight scale to your Micro 800 in a very easy and cheap way. Similarly, with the expansion IO modules, uh, if you need to increase the number of inputs and outputs available for your micro PLC, you just connect these um, expansion IO modules to the right uh, side of your of your PLC, and they are native to the PLC, so no programming, no configuration is needed. Micro PLC understands this is an expansion IO module, and uh, you can start using your new inputs and outputs immediately. Excellent. So it really does, like you say, it really does offer a machine builder or an OEM the flexibility of scaling up and down a machine as they need it. It really does fit to the user's requirements. Uh, that's right. And it's documented by the thousands of users all around the world uh, who enjoy this uh, flexibility features of our Micro 800 family. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time today, Pavel. It was really informative. It was a good look at the Micro 800 lineup. So thank you very much for your time with that. Thank you very much for inviting me.